New Weapons Channel Today we take a look at the appearance of a two-seat version of the Russian 5th generation Su-57 fighter jet. This has generated a lot of speculation about its purpose and options for pilot placement. On the web there are drawings of the likely cabin layout of the two-seat modification of the fighter Su-57 made by the Samurai from Japan. They offered five options for the cockpit of the fighter, including quite original. In the first, the co-pilot or navigator is located on the classic scheme of the two-seat cockpit, i.e. tandem, where the navigator is behind the pilot. This option is used in most fighter aircraft designs around the world. The second option provides for the placement of the navigator behind the back of the pilot, but under the protection of the aircraft plating, i.e. without access to external visibility, with orientation only on the instrumentation. The third option can also be considered a classic, as the pilot and navigator in the cockpit sit next to each other. This layout is used in the Russian frontline bombers Su-34. However, this deployment would require expanding the cockpit, which, in turn, will lead to changes in the aerodynamics of the aircraft due to increase the frontal part of the aircraft. The fourth option deployment by the type of helicopter, the pilot and navigator using two separate cabins with one above the other. In this option the navigator increases the viewing area, but the nose of the aircraft is weighted down, not to mention the excessive complexity of construction and lack of space for the placement of radar. In the fifth option, the author has placed the navigator under the cockpit, thereby significantly increasing the size of the nose of the aircraft. This option will probably never be implemented on the Su-57. And what do the viewers think? What variant of two-seat Su-57 will be chosen by Russians? All about the promising stealth bomber B-21 Raider of the US Air Force see at the link. See you soon on the channel.